welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a soft glam blended out liner for Thanksgiving. Um, this is going to be such an easy tutorial. I hope it's going to be so easy. Um, it was so easy to do so I'm hoping that I can explain it as easy as possible. If I sound a little congested, I'm sorry. I've been sick for like a week and I cannot shake it off. But I have been filming every single day because I can't just not film. And um, my husband will be coming home soon. So I have to film before he gets here. So I am going to be um, showing you guys how to do this look. This is a Thanksgiving look. Since Thanksgiving is right around the corner, which is in a couple of days. So, um, yeah, it's something super easy and um, super cute, super glam. And it's also, you know, kind of, it's nothing very dramatic, but not too natural that you look like, you know, you need more makeup. So it's kind of in between. It's a perfect balance of both. And it is just so easy to get. So let's get to this tutorial. So, I already went ahead and primed my eyes with my concealer, and then I set it with just a light skin tone shade. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Cocoa Bear and, um, and Latte, I'm sorry, from Makeup Geek. And this is what I'm using right now on my outer corner. Um, I'm not going to be doing the whole, like, crease, just kind of in the outer corner crease. Now, I do have tape, because this tape is going to help you to just get the perfect little wing. Um, you're going to get some black eyeshadow, whatever black eyeshadow you have. I am using Corrupt by Makeup Geek. And a really skinny pencil brush. And I'm going to be placing it. And then I'm going to get a fluffy blending brush and just blending it out. Um, you're going to see me use my fingers also. I'm just kind of like blending it throughout, making sure it doesn't look too harsh. You still want it to look like a... Kind of like a winged eyeliner, but blown out, you know? It is like a smoked out wing, I guess that's what it's called. And here I'm just fixing, uh, like, little stuff with the wipey. Now, I'm going to be going in with this um, Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop in Sailor. This shadow, it is like an iridescent, glittery um, type of shadow. It's so opaque. It doesn't have actual like pigmentation, like a color. It just has like glitter, which is what I wanted for this look. It's not glitter, but it's so shimmery. It's perfect. So here I'm kind of just making sure everything is perfect and I'm going in again with the pencil brush to kind of fix it. Now I did use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, which is my favorite mascara, of course. And now I'm going to be using these lashes by Salon Perfect. And I have Salon Perfect 614s, um, two pairs stacked together. And I am just putting that um, on. I wanted to put this little clip in here just so you guys can see that, um, I, you know, when I put my lashes, I rarely put it on camera. But, you know, it's, it's, it's such a struggle for me also. Now I am going to be using the Derma E um, Youth Purifying Serum as a primer and then now I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I'm going to be just blending that into my skin with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. This foundation is just to die for. Um, I really recommend it if you're oily. It is a matte foundation and um, I just I love it for like an everyday type of, type of look or like if I know I'm going to be sweating or whatever, I really love this foundation. It keeps you matte throughout the day. It's so perfect. Um, then we're going to go in with this contour kit that I found at my local Forever 21. And I am going to be using some of the brushes that I have from my oval brush set. And I'm just going to be putting like the darker contour shade to cream contour. And then I'm going to be going in with the lighter shade to um, cream highlight. So I didn't use concealer, I decided to use the um, cream highlight, the cream highlight as concealer. It wasn't such a good idea, I really didn't like this cream highlight, but um, I really prefer a concealer. But I wanted to give this little palette a shot, and it's not so bad, but it's not a very good palette. Um, 
but it's not the worst out there. So um, it did pretty good. It blended out pretty good, which I really liked. And the colors are very good also. Um, here, this little blending blood, uh, blending sponge is from Profusion. Um, they did they did go ahead and send me some products, and this is one of the little sponges that was in the pack, and I wanted to use it, but I think it was way too hard to try to blend. So um, it didn't really. I, it took me a long time to blend it out. Now I'm going back in with the Beauty Blender, and I'm gonna be just blending out my contouring shades. Making sure everything is blended. When I do do this kind of thing, even when I use brushes, I make sure I go back in with the highlighting shade and make sure that there's no harsh um, lines or anything. Cause sometimes you can see like a straight line of contouring. So you want to make sure you just blend everything out. Make sure everything looks flawless. Now I'm going to be using the LA Colors Contour Kit. Um, I didn't show it, but it is my the LA Colors Contour Kit. You guys can find it on my Instagram. It is my favorite contour kit that is super affordable, and I'm using that to bronze up my face, um, but kind of contour at the same time. Um, then I'm going to go in with the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder to bake, and I'm using this Morphe um, brush just because I like the brush and I decided to use it since I've never used it. And then I go in with the Beauty Blender and um, just kind of chisel out my contour just to give it more of a sharp look. And then I'm going to go in with this Morphe E1 and I'm just going to wipe all the excess um, translucent powder off. And here I went in with the banana shade on the LA Colors um, palette, but all I did is kind of pack it on and then I wiped it off. Um, just to give it a little more um, brightness. Then I'm going to go in with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit, and I kind of just uh, bronzed up my face. Now I'm going to be going in with the Morphe N9 Blush Palette, and I'm going to be using the middle shade to blush up my cheeks. Then I'm going to be using my favorite part of this is the ColourPop um, Honeymoon Highlighter, and it is also with that same reflex and formulation of the eyeshadow that I have it is just a lot of not glitter but just reflex it is just such a beautiful highlight I'm obsessed with it I'm so sad that it's limited edition but it was so beautiful now I'm going to go in with Milani lip liner on natural just to line my lips I rarely do this but I decided to do this today and I lined my lips then I'm going to go in with Colourpop's Times Square Ultra Matte Lippy and we are just going to be um, covering our lip with that. Okay guys, so that was the end of the video. And I hope you guys liked the tutorial. And I hope it was as easy as I think it is. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have great holidays, great Thanksgiving. Um, there's so much to be thankful for. So don't forget to just appreciate everything that is around you. And I love you guys. And I will see you all soon. Bye.